gram-positive bacteria have a thick layer of peptidoglycan in their cell wall outside their cell membrane. This takes up the purple stain in the gram stain. Gram-negative bacteria possess a thin layer of peptidoglycan in their cell wall sandwiched between their cell membrane and an outer membrane. This outer membrane interferes with both the immune system's ability to recognize microbes and the ability of antibiotics to interfere with cell wall synthesis. Spirochetes possess a space, a periplasmic space, between the peptidoglycan of the cell wall and the outer membrane. It is in this space that a number of flagella wrap around the bacterium, changing its shape from a rod shaped to that of a spirochete. Mycoplasm bacteria lack cell walls. They have no peptidoglycan. Although archaea possess cell walls, they do not contain peptidoglycan. Although prokaryotes do not have the internal membrane system that eukaryotes possess, some prokaryotes have a highly folded cell membrane which creates some internal compartmentalization and allows for a greater complexity of metabolic reactions. Many of the cyanobacteria also possess a highly folded cell membrane, don't you know?